Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this particular video, we are going to explore the insider risk activities. So, so far we saw that how we can start with insider risk and we also saw how we can create the policy. So after policy, we need to do investigation. So let's get it started and investigate it. Okay, so let's investigate the insider risk uh, activities. In the previous video, we created the policy. Now that policy must have found something related to the user and how we are going to do investigation on that, we will see from this particular video. So for that, let's click on insider risk management. And there on the overview page, you will get some summary, some information about those findings, or we can go dedicatedly through this alert section. If I go to this place here, I got the complete list of alert, which got generated by the policy. Now let's go to one particular alert and review. Here I got the complete alert detail. The first thing that you can see, we have summarized section. And this you will get once you have security copilot integrated at this place. So if you have security copilot integrated, instead of reading this entire information and then get a summary, you just need to click on summarize and the security copilot will generate the summary for that. So that would be really easy for investigator to know what exactly this alert is and what activity has been done by the user. Let's close it and go to the view detail section and review it manually. So once I clicked here, here we are getting this complete user details. As you can see, it has identified as a potential high impact user for following reasons. What it has detected? So the user accessed more content containing sensitive info than other users. User has following Microsoft Entra roles assigned, which is global admin. So he has more right. And user level in your organization, Microsoft Entra ID hierarchy is higher than 77% of other users. So suspicious. Why that global admin is doing and playing with the sensitive data. Now let's do the investigation and see what exactly that user has done. So to do that, we'll scroll it down. And you can see we got the detail pan here, which tells you about the risk factor, activity explorer, user activity, forensic evidences. And not only this, if you scroll it down, this gives you the complete cumulative information. As you can see, we got this uh, cumulative exfiltration activity. If you scroll it down, we are getting this sequence of activity unusual activity for this user, priority content that got accessed by that user, all this detail. Two activities include event with the unallowed domains, which is not good. Now, similarly, we'll get 1.7K with the sensitivity level. Top sensitive info types. So content that got detected by the user is listing at this place. So that's enough to understand something is not good. Now let's go back and try to explore this activity. So if I'll go back and here you can see we are getting this complete activity detail, which is done by that user. And we are, we are, we are getting with the timeline, which says, hey, on this particular date, at this particular time, we have noticed the file syncs from the SharePoint site. So to get detailed information, you just need to click and you will find the complete detail activities. Now, directly from here, we can move to other activities, like it says file sync from OneDrive and so on. We can explore all the details or all the activity which is done by that user. Now let's close and we can go and check the user's activity. So here you get this complete, you can say visual presentation or you can say representation of the user's activity in relation to uh, their risk severity and the time of occurrences. So you can see at this place, even you can see in the left hand side, you are getting this complete plain text that will give you the killer idea. And also you can see the activity list with this, uh, you can say bullet and you can identify which bullet color defines what, like the pink one for deletion, the alloys one is for collision, uh, collision, exfiltration, that green one, right? So if I want to go and check the detail, the sequence of activities, we just need to click to that place. And here you can see it has detected the sequence where the files collected from unallowed domain of focused exfiltration and cleanup. This is what has been done by the user, which is suspicious. Now, if you can see here, we are getting the complete detail infiltration file downloaded from 
unallowed site. So you took the data and you're getting all their related events listing at this place. Then file added to archive on one device that got archived on device. Then exfiltration took place. The file got printed. And finally, the user has deleted that file. So definitely this is suspicious activity. Let's close it down. Now we can go and check other activities as well. So we have forensic evidences that we can also collect. Now, after doing this much of investigation, now we are confident this is something fishy and this is not the usual activity that supposed to be done by that particular user. So what we can do, we can confirm all these alerts and create case. Let's click there and give a name of that case. That case helps you to do further investigation and share this information with the team and other responsible person. Okay. So this is how we are going to do the investigation. So we saw how we can investigate and create case. The important point is why we have created case. So let's assume there would be possibility the first layer of investigator has did such investigation and found that user has done something which is uh, not appropriate or maybe that should not be done by that user. But they are not confident enough or they might don't have right to create or take any action against that user. So they'll create one case and hand over to the other team member or maybe other uh, investigator. Now with the help of this case, the other investigators are also going to do the investigation in detail and they'll share their opinion for this particular activity. Later you are going to make a decision what you have to do. So thank you so much for watching this. In next video, we will see how we can play with this case.